Hey friends, I'm Pastor Joe. Today is Wednesday and I have your word for the day. Have you ever wondered what it meant to be a living sacrifice? Those two words, living and sacrifice, seem to not go very well together. It's not peanut butter and chocolate. Living sacrifice is an odd phrase. To be alive means that you're filled with life and you're uh, uh, filled with joy and you're filled with hope and you're filled with action and movement. But to be a sacrifice means that there's no longer life left in you. To, to, to be a sacrifice means something has been offered up. In the Old Testament, when a sacrifice of a living animal was, ma animal was made, that animal was killed. It was no longer living. So living and no longer living. That's what a follower of Jesus is called to. Paul writes in Romans 12, 1, I beg you, therefore, my brothers and sisters, become a living sacrifice holy and acceptable to God. This is your reasonable act of worship. Paul was pleading with followers of Jesus that they would live dying. What does that mean? Well, we live dying by living in a constant state that denies ourself that denies our selfishness, that denies our sinful attitude, and we choose to live by the Spirit. We choose to walk in the Spirit, as we talked about a couple weeks ago. We choose to go to the throne of grace, as we looked at, as we looked at a couple weeks ago, and we follow Jesus by denying ourselves, taking up our cross, and following Him. Following Jesus is not always what we hoped it would be. Following Jesus is sometimes hard, it's sometimes difficult, but it always requires sacrifice of self. So what is it that God is calling you to sacrifice today? What is it that God is calling you about your personal self to give up, to walk away from, and to no longer embrace as part of your identity? If today's word for the day has blessed you, like it, share it, or leave a comment. God bless.